The Health Minister, Edwin Boots, joins me from Stormont. Minister, what lessons have been learned from that night at the Odyssey? Well, I think it's very clear that the problems that happened that night at the Odyssey were largely young people arriving at the scene drunk. And the vast majority of those people had actually arrived in coaches. So the discussions that we had uh, were actually around um, the transportation issues and uh, what legislation needs to be produced to ensure that uh, the, the fact that it's illegal to drink in coaches can actually be enforced properly. And we, we made it very clear to both the Department of Envi uh, Environment and the Department of Justice uh, that they needed to engage in a course of work to bring forward such legislation. Do you then want to see a toughening of the legislation regarding drinking on coaches? Absolutely. Uh, this isn't just a problem uh, one night at the Odyssey. This is something that causes problems elsewhere. And uh, we find that many young people uh, turn up to events preloaded uh, on, on these coaches. I think the problem that happened at the Odyssey was that they had been preloading for up to two hours in some instances. And consequently, when they got out of the coaches, uh, they were in, in a very inebriated state. Uh, so other times it doesn't happen until actually people enter events and the, the, the problems are caused then. Uh, but in this instance it actually happens straight away. Who's supplying the drink here, Minister? Well, obviously uh, drink is supplied generally from off-licences and supermarkets. Uh, so there are adults involved in supplying the drink. So either adults are selling the drink directly and I suspect that isn't so much the case. Uh, but there are other adults who are buying the drinks uh, in the off license in supermarkets and providing it to the young people. What responsibility, in some what, what responsibility do the, the, the pubs and the clubs have here? Well, the pubs and clubs probably had quite a limited responsibility in this instance, although uh, the, the licensing trade have informed me that they have a, a series of policies and they have actually added to that policy today uh, that anyone bringing people to a, a, a licensed premises uh, wouldn't be allowed to actually uh, use the transportation system uh, for drinking alcohol and consuming of alcohol. In, in a few seconds, Minister, how do you propose to change the way we seem to be living our lives here with this attitude to drink? Well, we had 355 people last year who were identified as having cirrhosis of the liver, which is considerably up over the last decade. And we need to get the message out that uh, it isn't cool, hip and trendy. Uh, to be getting stoicious drunk, uh, particularly when you're younger, uh, as the damage to your body and indeed to your mind are, are substantial. And therefore, people uh, need to reflect on this and indeed society in general, uh, be that in, in, in pop stars okay. or, or be that in, in soap operas, need to reflect that too. Minister, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.